Hello, my name is Matt Caulfield. I'm the Northeast Regional Manager for Campville APC, and this is our adventure here at Watts Technologies, where we sold five FAR Gold Series dust collectors with the team of Ventilation Control, Campville APC, and Watts Technologies. We manufacture water handling uh, components. Uh, the foundry manufactures uh, backflow preventers, uh, flow controls, ball valves, uh, many miscellaneous water handling components are manufactured at this facility. And to give you a little background on our company, uh, Watts Water started in the 1800s, uh, 1874 I think, as a, kind of a steam valve company and uh, then became Watts Regulator. Uh, so we've really been in the business an awful long time. The Franklin campus is our largest. We uh, ship about 270,000 valves out of this uh, campus every week. In the last year, we spent a lot of time and effort to put in a world-class foundry here on the campus. Uh, we have 42 acres and now 370,000 square feet under roof. This facility was designed to have state-of-the-art dust collection and everyone can go through their day with normal PPE being safety glasses, steel-toed shoes, hard hats and the new foundry. There is a new law that's in place and it's the reduction in, of lead in Drinking Water Act which comes uh, into uh, play in January of 2014 so really that's what we're getting ready for. So we. Uh, spent some time and effort designing what we feel is the next state-of-the-art foundry with 2013 technology and uh, worked with a lot of uh, great engineering minds to come up with what we think is the best way to make our product in today's market with today's technology. Ventilation Control has been doing work here at Webster for many years so we had some credibility with these guys going in. And we sold the first Campfill Gold Series system uh, in 2009 on what they call the CKO system. It was a very difficult application for them. So when we got that system in there and it worked great, they were very happy and they had a very positive image of how Campfill uh, dust collectors work. The next system we did for them was for their paint spray system. They had a powder coating line. We put in a new system, a GS-12, that just worked great for them. Uh, going into the new foundry, it was very important to us to have Campville there behind the product so that we could sell with confidence and we knew that whatever system we put in here would be backed up 100% on. I'm standing in front of the sand collector here at Watts Water Technology and this is a GS-108. It's handling green foundry sand. The GS-108 that we have on the sand mold system has a special mining duty inlet. That enabled us to handle this large volume of sand uh, coming into the collector in a way that any other cartridge collector would not be able to do. Camp Phil's experience in mining really helped us here. It helped us convince Watts that the Gold Series would work in a sand application. They were concerned about the high clay content in the sand and the moisture content in the sand. And we pointed out that in mining application, Campville Far systems have already been handling higher moisture contents and worse clay conditions and doing it very well. Because again, this is a, a non-typical application for a cartridge filter. Because you have wet sand in some of these spots in here, uh, normally it'd be a bag house that'd be used. So I think even for you guys, this is a little bit of a pioneering application for the sand system and in all the spots of the sand system because uh, again, wet sand and the ability to clog up filters and the ability to clean those filters on a periodic basis. That's where the castings first come out of the foundry. They still contain sand from the core that makes the internal passages in the castings. Uh, the sand is removed from the inside of the casting, creating a lot of uh, potentials for airborne dusts and silicas. The new dust collection system has uh, done a fine job of cleaning up the air and uh, making the employees' day much more enjoyable. So for this particular collector, we have the integrated HEPA after filter, and that allows them to return the air from the sand system, which has silica in it, back into the building which they would not be able to do without HEPA filtration. That collector also has a VFD drive system that maintains the airflow and compensates 
for the differential pressure across the filters to always maintain the right airflow. All the collectors have that, and that, that also helps maintain conveying velocity in each collector all the time. And especially in the sand system, they were very concerned about building up of dust in the ducting and the weight of that sand you know, overall on the ducting. And so they wanted to make sure that they were gonna never have that situation where they'd have a problem. I uh, feel that the Canfield FAR system is far and away uh, excessive to meeting anyone's requirements and needs and would highly recommend the system to anybody uh, on the fence trying to decide whether to go with this system or an alternate system. I've uh, dealt with many of the alternates and uh, am very impressed uh, with not only equipment quality, uh, equipment durability, as well as support from both the manufacturer and the installer.